just get my race and events up so I can actually see what happens. Okay. Twins trains are always great. Is the rain. It's gonna be the rain. I am. I am very fed up. It's, it's, it's a, just a flipping sucky situation. Hey, welcome back. Let me, oh, I should go into my Discord. Oh, I was gonna do it on my phone, but I guess I'll do it here. I should go to bed. can't see it, but uh, what is the point of having all of this if you can't do anything? Let me go to announcements and delete some of them so hopefully people will not be so mad that it is pinging everyone a billion times. Which is like story of my discord. Are you holding up? <laughs> Just been crying a little bit because of the terrible internet. You know what I decided would be cool, right? Oh, I was gonna wear a jacket, but I don't even want to actually get that cold. And I'll get rid of my blanket as well, I think, because I don't really need one. Um, but it's comfy, so I don't know. Yes, let's smile. I feel like it though. Um, <sighs> how's everyone be? I'm not doing a drink tonight. I'm having. Why is my chair so bad? Oh my God. You just that's great. I'm having water uh, because health reasons. I was I was chatting to my mom about what I want to do. <laughs> Thanks for all the hugs. Um, because I'm like I'm not super comfortable drinking soft drink three times a week well not soft drink but like very sugary drinks three times a week so I was like hey let's uh do that maybe just on Fridays Name the stream? Andrew. They'll live, I'm sure. <laughs> He's gonna know that I snitched now. You snitch about everything. I snitch about quite a few things, to be fair. Um, thank you, guys. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for following Milk Milk Motels. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. Stream is usually better than this, but uh, it's been raining, so... Oh! Bits has jumped... Oh, and Bits and Gifting Subs have jumped over to the new month, so... Nobody's on the leaderboard, so Adi Jeff, thank you so much for 100 Bits. You're way too kind, you did not have to do that. Welcome to number one spot on the leaderboard. But I also wanted to say, and I was going to write it on the stream today. Maybe I'll put it as the title. Mm. What? I'm sorry, I needed to restart, I'm sorry. What? Okay, wait, wait, wait. I need to update my tags and things. sensible. <laughs> Let's uh, perk up. Okay. Internet is absolutely worth crying over. Thank you. 
I've been, wow, now my jacket is ugly. Sorry, could you move that? It's, a, a lot of my background is dodged. So if I go this way, you can see my hat collection. Well, some of it anyway. So frog hat is obviously up there. You can actually see it in this stream. Because of the phone. Because of the wide, I mean, the quality's terrible, but it's wider. It's all right, all right. Oh. Yeah, no, no, but if I'm blowing it up and going to edit things, it is horrific. Uh, so yeah, got my hat collection here because... Hats are a thing. Yeah, well that and where else am I going to put them is my question. <laughs> I'm not actually sure. And this is also dumb, but I'm looking at myself and I'm like, hey, you don't look too bad. Because I've been kind of too nervous to wear crop tops lately because of the amount of sugar I've been eating. You're good. I'll, oh. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> I think, I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna, okay, sorry. I'll behave. Um, hey Jacob, welcome back. Uh, I had to go through the reset password trash again. No! Password's disgusting. You should write them down on a bunch of post-it notes. Uh, I, I promise, it's, it's a good idea. <laughs> um, oh, thank you so much. How many bits is that? <laughs> Wait, oh, it's, if I leave my software open, I can still read. YouTube 10 bits, thank you so much. You were way too kind. Welcome to the number two spot. Um, cheer up, it's all right. Try and relax, thank you. Garbage intake, yes. I just, I'm like, I, like, we have protest signs around the place for a reason. I was, I was gonna do some kind of subathon and I was gonna have a timer up and stuff, but that's gonna have to wait when it's not raining I suppose um, it's funny having my phone up here again I keep looking at the webcam but I need to like lift your head higher so I actually look at you guys um, and this is often how I <laughs> it's a terrible habit I used to sit like this whenever I streamed I'd sit like this everything was fine but since it's kind of like here up that you see on the webcam I've been sitting like this a lot <laughs> So in this stream, you're going to see me sitting like this, and it's going to be terrible, and I apologize for that, but that's kind of, you know, how I sit right now. Behind the scenes, I suppose. Um, spell I-cup. I-C-U-P. I'll say it. I have no shame. Um, you got your second vaccine shot? Nice. I mean, that's terrible. Ouchie. But good that you're getting it. We don't get it for a while, but that's okay. I'm definitely like well last of the list. Oh, yes, I have been doing assignments like mental. Things have been ridiculous, like flipping ridiculous. I'm kind of mad at myself that I skipped my one on Monday, but you wouldn't have wanted to speak to me on Monday. <laughs> I. It was, it ended up, the assignment I did on Monday, it was 3,524 words, 20 pages, and it left me, like, <laughs> only yes, no questions. I can't speak full sentences. I'm like, Ugh. I speak in grunts after that. <laughs> um, Trene, thank you so much for following. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. Um... Yes, okay, so I was gonna do some kind of thing, but since we kind of can't, whatever, um, stuff will still go here, but on my arms and whatever, if you gift five subs, I'll write your username there. So, <laughs> uh, oh, that's so cool! I love you, chat. <laughs> that's so cute! Um, yeah, so apart from that, I've been pretty good. Just a lot of assignments, a lot of craziness. Uh, hey them, thank you so much for following. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're also having an absolutely wonderful day. And I have one more assignment coming up before I go on prac, which I'm so excited about. Um, so my last assignment is a self reflection. So. <laughs> I've basically got to look at myself and be like, hmm, here is where I suck. Which is grand for the self-esteem. 
But that's due on Saturday, and I've been working on it for two days. I've got around 200 words down, <laughs> because I'm just looking at it and I'm like, I don't know what to say. Uh, so, the worst part is that it's like 50%. Um, it could be buffering a lot. I swear, if it's not working on this either, I'm going to cry. Again. For the third time. It's been a rough day, okay? Okay. One thing I was looking for, and I was, um... Ralph, hi, thank you so much for three bits, you're way too kind. And since you guys can't see it today, because things aren't working, we are at 6.42% of the way to getting a capture card. Um, that's one of the reasons I'm doing like writing stuff, because I would like to get a capture card pretty soon as well. Um, ooh, one message was deleted. I didn't even see that. Fancy. Um, okay. I need to perk up. I'm sorry. I'm still really sad. <laughs> give, give me some conversation because I'm struggling today. I'm like still sad on the inside, but I'm trying to be like, cute and a. let's have a, yes, Ask someone give anything. me something. To talk. <laughs> Ask her anything. It's oh. not anything. Yeah, yeah look. Uh, Wednesday's my favourite, but everything is going wrong. How many have you got on? 17. Oh, nice. You know what I was wanting to do, right? So, it's a highly anticipated game for ages. <laughs> Car work time. Go take, go take care. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, see you next time. So there's this highly anticipated game, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Resident Evil 8. Uh, people have been playing the the, 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 the the demo for ages, right? And I know a couple of people who are going to be playing it on stream, and I was like, hey, I could do that. Because I know, you know, when you play a brand new game, you get a whole bunch of people come in. And I was like, hey, I could do that. Anyway, I go into Steam. I'm like, let's go see this because it was just released this week. I'm like, let me go, like, let me go get it to, um, s you know, so we can play. First of all, I was thinking of the problems with this. First of all, my internet probably couldn't handle the graphics. Haha. <laughs> so jokes on me, I couldn't do it anyway. Unless I like picked up my entire setup and moved somewhere else. But also, it's flipping $122. Tell them about your sticker. I will in a second, but $122. Like, I was full on ready to be like, yes. I was expecting, like, 40 at most. And even that was like, Aah! and I'd hope to make it back. But $122. Which, you know... So I suppose I won't be playing that because do you, do you think I have that kind of money to spend? No. I don't. I maybe only make a hundred dollars a month. So feel free to sub. Um, yeah. But recently I saw this sticker advertised to me and Redbubble has been advertising things to me and honestly, this time they got it right. I have had the best, hey uh, Mark, I've had the best ad for me ever. It was absolutely like the essence of me. And you know, I would show you if I could stream on my PC. Uh, hey Bucko. Oh, looking up. Um, so I was just looking around. I was on Red, well no, I was actually on Facebook. And I was looking at Redbubble 
and I saw a shirt. Well, it was actually a sticker when I saw it. I do want the sticker. Mark Jr., thank yeah, you so you much for following. Shirt. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. I do want the shirt, but I want the sticker as yeah, well. Yeah, you got the sticker, haven't you? No, I haven't got oh, the you sticker. you didn't buy the sticker? No, I didn't buy the sticker. you bought it. No, because I was like, is it is shipping worth buying one thing? Yes. So no. I didn't buy the sticker. But it's this John Mulaney quote, and I was like, this is the best advertised thing to me that ever could have been advertised. And, um... So it says, I don't know if you can really see that, I'm sorry, I will show you if my PC was working. It says, I am very small and I have no money, so you can imagine the kind of stress I am under. Perfection. It, it is so everything that I need. So I have to, I have to have it. Um, so yeah, how's it going Mark Jr? It's going decent for me. Yeah, I'm about to start my prac. So, thank you so much for three bits, Ralph. You're way too kind. Um, you are number three on the tier list now, since it just flicked it back over. And yeah, I think we're six point four three still. Um, yes, a bunch of things came in the mail today. <laughs> So, let me, like, I decided, because I had zero professional clothes, I mean, this is what I'm wearing. <laughs> so, you know, I don't know. I just went online and <laughs> just bought everything. Well, actually, my mother did, so I should, I should <laughs> lie that I bought everything. My mother bought everything. My mother knows how to dress me professionally. So, yeah, I have business clothes now. I'm very fancy. It's going to be so good. Or maybe I should do, like, one of those YouTube videos. Like, look at me. All my new clothes. I'm professional. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's my market anymore, you know? So, yes, they are dumped there because I don't have enough, um, clothes, ha clothes hangers to put them all on. Hey, Tektronic. Oh, I should also announce. I forgot to put in my Discord. Pfft, heck. Um. Let me do that now. My talent show, by the way. I did say it was going to be tonight, but there's still only one entry in there. And you know what? If there only stays as one entry, we're going to do it with one entry and we have a winner. <laughs> um. But it's going to be next Wednesday. Because, um, I, I just, I want to give people more time and hope other people put in. Because it was a super cool idea. So I really hope that, um, it's going to work, you know? You don't have to use your face, you can just... Yeah, you can do anything. You can do a card trick with your hands on a table. I don't care. I just, I just want to review some viewer videos so we can, like, it's like you guys coming onto stream. I think it would be really fun, but yeah. Uh... So, apologies for not telling you guys earlier, but it is being a tad hectic. Just, just a tad. I was actually planning on later tonight, um, after this stream, like to do my just chatting segment and then finishing off with a little bit more of Rambo. Ha 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 How your plans get destroyed. Um... You have a glowing look today? Thank you! It may just be the fact that my phone makes everything slightly more yellow than my, like, PC, so maybe I look a little golden. I'm still kind of like, actually I look so See guys, see? I'm not the same colour as the wall. I actually have a skin tone, guys, okay? Look at that. Hey, Braxy, welcome. How am I? Yeah. Streaming on my phone because the internet is making me cry, literally. And I've been doing a lot of assignments and that has made me cry, literally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I'm not. I'm, I'm not even joking. It's it's terrible. I'm sorry. Let me let me be happy. Okay. Maybe I can try this. Yeah. I have a box. Okay. Rules? I don't need rules. I'm playing by myself. Okay, I have a challenge game here. So we can do that for a bit. Um. Did you sort them? What a bother. Okay, at least they're color coded. So basically, I'm gonna do solo challenges. I'm gonna see if I can I can win some. <laughs> I was given this game by Auntie Jeff in the chat. Also, <laughs> I'm a big adult, right? I went and picked up the keys to my PO box all by myself. I felt so proud. So proud. I walked right up there and was like, hello. I'm here to pick up my P.O. Box keys. And they were like, oh, here you go. And I'm like, <laughs> oh. This is harder than I thought. Hold up. I need some kind of like, I need to be angled slightly better. Let me see my, see my tape. Was terrible. I mean, I need to go like down, 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 down. <laughs> you still can't see my table. <gasps> Why? Ah. Okay. Well, never mind with that then. And now I'm right the way on the floor. Bourbon, I saw that you sent me a Facebook message. Could you perhaps whisper to me on Twitch? Because as my phone is being the, the thing that I'm using to stream, can't open it and read it. Be so hard. Hey, simple. How's it going? Um, Aries on sometimes. Here's uh, one of my mods. Uh, one of my IRL friends. <laughs> the one with the wicked Kermit impression. I should get Airy Bourbon on again sometime. Good, good stuff. Okay, I'm almost done. Alright. Everything is sorted. Okay. So basically, let's try this for a second. challenges here. I had to make them all solo because I have no friends with me. So, um, I grab them. I do them, I suppose. You sh shuffle them up and, uh, pick one. <laughs> uh, how do you know Tave song from Australia too? What? Boop. She got a clothes haul. Yes! <laughs> Oh, uh, okay. So, I guess I, I'm gonna pick the top one. Okay, place four dice in a cup. Using chopsticks, you have 30 seconds to transfer the dice out of the cup and back in again. That's flipping impossible. Hey, how's it going? Okay, let me... I take it. I take... 
dice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just see how far I can, <laughs> how fast I can go. It's not gonna be 30 seconds. Um. Ah, oh, thank you so much. 500. Um. That is so incredible. Thank you so, so much. We're now 8.43%. Um. Various channels are being seen. English isn't understood. Please exert yourself. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Huh? Wait. I want to check one thing. But, but I'm clearly too silly to understand. Wow, you have a skin tone. Yeah. I sent one- oh, two at least? Okay, I haven't seen it yet. This may be way behind. If not, oh well. I don't know. Oh, it is a little behind, yeah. Okay. As usual on the phone. I don't know what- the delay on the phone is so so much worse than the pc i don't get it okay so basically elliot like hello basically i'm gonna try and all right let me come down here okay so what we're <laughs> what we're doing is we're supposed to get get these out and back in in under 30 seconds, but it's not gonna work. <laughs> not great internet today. Okay, wait. if you want but all right let's go it can't be the hard map am i supposed to hold it further back okay eh, eh. Eh, eh, eh. okay eh. oh okay one oh okay i'm i'm incredible look 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 at me go <laughs> i'm shocked Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. You just did it. I just did it. How? <laughs> okay, that was definitely not 30 seconds. But I'm counting that as a win. All right, I'm going to do another one. Um... I figured people had almost two weeks. Yeah, two weeks-ish. Uh, hey, how's it going? I'm curious, do you have any cool masks that you've been wearing during the pandemic? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I have a quick. Let me bring you up, up a little bit. Okay. <sighs> Hello, here is my mask collection. <laughs> So, I have, this one is the one I wear most. You can't really see, but it's completely decorated. I did it with gold Sharpie and it's definitely faded. Um, it says back off. This is the side for people I don't want near me because it's got like cactus, cacti. Um, <laughs> it says back off and it's got like swords and stuff. And this is for people I like because it's got snails and love hearts and whatever. That's the one I wear most of the time because that's always in my bag. Uh, I made this one. It's supposed to be aerial and it's a little wonky because 
idiot me lined everything up perfectly and then sewed it wrong like an idiot because it's supposed to go <laughs> red, purple, green but when I, s I switched them over so look, it's still cute uh, it's got like a little mesh thing with like what's well, supposed to be bubbles and a fork on it like Ariel so cute but a mistake um, <laughs> this one is for Princess Jasmine it's got floofy bits in it. I also made this one. Uh, I have worn this one out. It's very cute. Um, this one, my aunt made me. It's reversible. And this one, I also made. This is the first mask I made, so it's way too small for me and I can't actually wear it. But I love it so much. It's like Rapunzel's dress. So I made a couple of Disney princess masks. I was going to make more, but then no one needed masks in Australia anymore. Uh, <laughs> so I may get like a little bow instead. And then, yeah, so I can't actually wear that. So it's kind of sad. All right. Next thing. I don't need to shuffle them again because I don't know what they are. Even the audio. Oh, It's all good on your end. Oh, thank goodness. I'm like, <laughs> okay, my next challenge card. Um, that's the exact same one. I put it back on the top. Hold up. My next challenge card. Throw a, throw a ball in the air and clap six times before catching it again. You have two attempts. It's well delayed though. Always on the phone. Yeah, oh, people are like a couple minutes behind. But that's okay. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I can sit here entertaining myself and then you guys can catch up and come with me later. Okay. I'm supposed to throw a ball. Did, it, did your message come through? No? Okay. Okay. Ah! Ooh. <laughs> How many times do you have to clap? Six times and then catch it. Holy girl, I don't think the roof is tall enough. I got five and missed. Okay. So I can do six and catch, hopefully. Wait. What did you put for six? No. Ah! <laughs> it hit my hands. Okay. That was five. They said I have two attempts, but I'm cheating. Oh! Yeah. I caught it. <laughs> I'm going to do the next one. That's impossible. All right. Hey, 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 throw it up and I'll clap. <laughs> oh. Okay. Hold the rim of a cup with two balls inside with a flick of the wrist. Shut up, Mum. Behave. Um, so it lands face down on the table with both balls still inside. I'm leaving. <laughs> Get out. Get out. Thank you so much for following Chris J. Foss. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. Um, okay, you win. Those are amazing. Best of the day. <laughs> All right. I went. No, that was too far. What? I've lost my ball. I got it. Horrible. I'm incredible. What? Oh, okay. Place a cup overhanging on the edge of a table, place a ball in front of the cup. You have 30 seconds to flip the cup so it lands on top of the ball. I found out 
my dresser is not stable. <sighs> Do I have blue tack? <laughs> Can I like put a dice in there? Can I, yeah, we're gonna put, flip it on top of the dice because that's not gonna move. and I don't like it. Alright, last one for a second. Okay, now I'm supposed to knock cups off a table, like a pyramid of cups. I have five balls to knock the, the three pyramid over. How dumb do you think I am? Easy. I'm gonna lose balls all over my room. Did she clap six times? Yes. <laughs> Alright. Me... How stupid do they think I am? I have to stand six feet away. Oh, hang on. <laughs> stupid enough that I can't read. Where is my ball? Oh, there it is. Oh. Okay. This is probably six feet. for a fool. I'm incredible. You wish you were this good. Huh. Now, what was the point though? Now I've just lost my balls. <laughs> <laughs> this is terrible. I'm sorry. One of them's gone for good. I'll have to go on a flipping deep dive search for that later. Egg, but thank you so much for one bit. You're way too kind and I'm way too high. That cute matching outfit. Um, well, thank you very much. Now I five. Okay, look. I may have clapped only five times. We're not all perfect. Oh. And Egbert, thank you so much for following and welcome to the stream. Hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. All right, what would the next one have been? Easy. Place a cup upside down in your head with a bowl on top. I mean, go from standing to kneeling. I can do that. Alright, this, this will be the last one. So I've got to... I just want to say, guys, I just want to say, oh, I'm sorry, Egbert, we're doing a phone stream today, 
because my stupid thing isn't like the internet is garbage and I can't stream on my PC so sound alerts aren't working but I can do that for you it goes hey listen I don't know if you guys can see this right but that is rounded you can't put a ball on a rounded edge okay impossible trying to scam me waste of my time huh. I can get this. Oh, this is never gonna go back in the box, is it? And I still need to find that fifth ball. Unga bunga. Indeed. both that I suck and that I'm incredible so you know take from that what you will we love beans you know recently I did a car stream it, it was a good one um, and there was a guy who kept asking for me to shout beans at the top of my lungs in my car I did it of course but <laughs> there was that guy who was like shout beans we love spaghetti? Heck yeah. <laughs> I, although... Now, this may be controversial. But... <clears throat> spaghetti is like the easiest pasta to get wrong. So many people make it that there's more chances of it to be wrong. Like, I've had so many spaghettis that, you know, have potential, obviously, because there are some amazing ones that I've had. But I've had more terrible spaghettis than I've had amazing spaghettis. And if you think about it, you probably have too. Like, you go somewhere, you get spaghetti, you think it's going to be really good, but then... It's bland and watery. Waste of time. Now... Spaghetti has such potential to be excellent, but so many people do it so, so wrong. Uh, hi, I'm from India. Hi, welcome. How are you going? Um, hi, you are from India. <laughs> Hope you're having a great day. Um, but yes, Italian food is great. It is probably my favourite. Yeah. <laughs> but... Like, I'm not dissing spaghetti. I'm just saying that so many people do it so, so wrong when it has the potential to be excellent. Am I, am I wrong here? <laughs> I, like, okay, so... So does other pastas, to be fair. Because it's all about the sauce more than the shape of the pasta. Uh, I always get just get the homemade stuff with a bucket of sauce. Don't be stingy with sauce. Absolutely. But it sucks like when you go to a restaurant and you're like, oh, I'm feeling some spaghetti and you order it. And then your spaghetti comes out like this bland, watery soup. And it's disgusting. I don't know. There are so many places that claim to be Italian restaurants and just can't do that one thing. Although I did have quail once at an Italian restaurant I think some weird tiny bird and it was it was no it wasn't quail that's too small oh it was it was the bird I don't want to say because it's got like <laughs> it's got mm, 
It's got a, a bad word at the start. Spaghetti should be top tier or nothing, are you sure? Also, hi, just tuned in. Hi! Um, okay, fair. But, what, no hot tub? <laughs> there has never been a hot tub here. I don't even own a hot tub. Plus, it's winter. It's cold outside. Um, what the heck was I saying? Oh yes, spaghetti is good, but have you tried like tortellini or something? I think that's what it's called. And ravioli? Pasta with stuff inside and on the outside? Uh huh? Excellent! <laughs> I'd... Mm -hmm. That's where it's at. Well, not in all cases, in a lot of cases. I do like some carbonara sauce as well, very nice. And I do like garlic bread a whole lot, but apparently garlic bread is only a thing like in Italian restaurants and in actual Italy, it's not a big thing. Huh? <laughs> you know what? I don't care. I'm going to still munch it down, even though I have a, a bit of a garlic intolerance. Munch it down. Um, ravioli is so good. Yes. People are agreeing with me. It's excellent. Um, Try using a PC again, but your internet will pick up. I I don't want to mess around with it because I don't want to end this and have everything go wrong and then get on the PC and have it like, ugh, and then not be able to come back on. I'm a big fan of you. Well, hello. <laughs> How's it going? Um, okay, maybe in a hot tub stream, maybe bath stream. Yeah, I'll sit in there with a rubber duck. It's gonna be ugh, the height of entertainment. Maybe like even more entertaining than this heaping garbage pile that is tonight. I've been following in Pinterest for five years. How? <laughs> I don't even... What? No garlic bread isn't big in Italy. Yeah. Blew my mind. Um, I do have such a soft spot for bruschetta though. I could eat bruschetta all day long. There is a really awesome place, like this really awesome Italian place that I love going to, where they have bruschetta pizza, which is like a normal garlic pizza with the bruschetta stuff on top. And it is just incredible. Oh my goodness. It hurts my tummy so bad. <laughs> I know, because we go to this place and we get a garlic pizza, a bruschetta pizza, and then three other types of pizza. There's six people in my family, okay? And we ate like monsters at this place. Um, but, oh, it, as I said, a little bit of a garlic intolerance, so it hurts my tummy very much. But, oh, is it so good? And I've made um, bruschetta pizza at home before, and it wasn't quite the same, so I'm gonna keep trying and keep trying to make it good, but oh, I made it like on garlic slices. I made it with bruschetta. And, mm, I like it very much. I'm sorry for <laughs> my rant about bruschetta. Sorry, but I, it had to be said that bruschetta is amazing. Uh, Kick Kids, thank you so much for following. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. What's your view on bruschetta? <laughs> How's the stream? Uh, Chromecast tutorials? Hey, how's it going? The stream is not as good as it usually is uh, because I have to be on my phone because nothing's working. I miss you, watermelon hat. Look, it's right here. My watermelon hat is right here. If I wanted to, I could like... But hello! <laughs> yes. Yeah, so sound alerts aren't working, so if you have channel points, Wait till my next stream if you want to use them on sound alerts. Don't buy sound alerts with bits, that's for sure. <laughs> What's wrong with your computer? It is, it's nothing wrong with it. It's my internet today. Um, <laughs> living in Australia, especially in like a kind of rural area, whenever it rains, the internet just pieces out because we don't have fibers in the road. We 
than just solely rely on like stuff moving around. You could hotspot your phone. Well, I'm on my phone now. I I don't know how to. My hotspot is pretty sketchy as well. Uh, why I don't remember you? <laughs> twenty one days. What was twenty one days ago? Maybe I was doing something interesting. Um, yeah, I need to learn how to USB hotspot. I, I don't know how to do that yet. Uh, Aussie internet makes me want to die. Same, sometimes. The froggy hat is adorable. Thank you. That's my cash money hat. I wear it when I sell out and tell people that subbing is a really good thing. And so is giving bits because I'm currently saving up for a capture card. Very cool. Um, you could watch a tutorial, yeah. <laughs> wear my watermelon hat. I only look good with a watermelon hat. Uh, Stephen Waddington, thank you so much for following. Or welcome to the stream. Hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. So, if you're interested, I have like, like, what? Let me just unplug the phone altogether. So, this, oh, my room is a tad bit of a mess because I just had a bunch of clothes come in today. So, this is my current setup. I have myself open here so I can see my alerts and chat. And then, um, here I had had this open so I could see other stuff as well, but I switched over for a second. Uh, this is my PC. Very pretty. I stole my family's, uh, <laughs> mouse map because I didn't have one. He's a race car mouse. Very cool. Uh, it makes me go fast. And, yeah, I don't know. Here's my list of dumb ideas. Here's a drink I never finished, which, you know, I still tell myself I might. Uh, there's my crying tissue from earlier when my internet wasn't working. Oh, there's an NES there as well. Um, <laughs> did you build that PC? No, because I am dumb dumb. okay? I, I could not. I, I thought about it and then I was like, no, let me buy one. Let me, like, <sighs> we did a whole fundraising kind of thing where chat were was donating like all of my donations went to getting a pc so i just went let me get a pc and kind of get that going um and then i can upgrade when i need to so i was like let me just get a pc let's just put that put that down just get a pc is step number one and then you know upgrading and actually having like fancy super fancy stuff that can come later that's fine I love you, Arthur. Thank you. Race car mouse is perfect. <laughs> Sorry, it's currently trapped under my <laughs> keyboard. Right? Yeah, it is. Boom boom. My dad got it free from a conference. I think it was like, you know, when you go to a conference, they give out presents to like people presenting and stuff. So, uh, you got a race car mouse. And I have stolen it, basically. Yeah, but it is perfect speed running. Makes me go extra fast. Nice PC, thank you. I'm, I'm going good. Not as good today because stuff wasn't working too well. Um, 21 days ago, didn't you announce the talent quest 21 days ago? I'm not sure. I could have... Hmm. date 21 days ago I don't know I'll have to look at like my VODs archive later and see let's say like um, shame it doesn't make your internet faster <laughs> rough run guys it's been terrible okay let me I'll tell you some bods all right here we are videos 21 days ago could have been me chatting here or me baking one of the two i was either sitting here doing pretty much exactly this but on a pc or i was baking 
because I can't see the exact dates. Uh, would you ever get any other piercings besides your ears? Probably not. I have three here, so there's one on this side and then two on this side. Uh, one of them's Mickey Mouse, very cool. Uh, yeah, apart from that, I'm pretty happy. Yeah, I don't think there would be like anywhere else I'd kind of want. Yeah. I remember the cooking stream? I should do another one. I was planning on doing like a cake stream at some point, but I haven't gotten the stuff yet. <laughs> I really should. I, I did that on like Thursday nights. This is my last week before prac, right? Where I'm like full time working for three weeks. And I told myself, I was like, Matisse, you're gonna do extra streams. You're gonna stream for ages, right? But as it turns out, my assignments made me very sad and destroyed me. So instead, I have not been doing that, but I will come back with completely normal content st starting Friday. <laughs> Friday, we're, everything's gonna go back to normal, including the internet. That's me just putting it out there, you know, because if I say it, the internet has to do it, right? I'm gonna force the internet to comply. Yeah. Also, I apologize for the amount of water I'm drinking tonight. Absolutely guzzling down water because I had a porto for dinner. Now, if you've if you've been in chat, you know we love a porto here. We love it very much. And uh I had the chili burger, which is delicious. But it does give me stomach cramps a little bit, and it makes me extremely thirsty. So, um, I'm drinking a lot of water in the hopes that I won't fall asleep and wake up in the middle of the night like... <coughs> as I often do. <laughs> because while my mouth can handle it, my stomach really can't. And it's not even that much chilli! <sighs> my stomach just embarrasses me sometimes. Doesn't like garlic, doesn't like chili. <laughs> Did I miss something? Vraxi! Are you still here? Vraxi, are you still here? I really hope you are because I'm pretty sure I missed you cheering 100 bits. I just noticed that you were on the leaderboard. And if you are still here, I want to say a massive thank you. You're incredible. I really hope you're still here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Um, you know what though, seeing as it is, is a slow night, okay, right, okay, so I'm going to put all of the, the bit leaders, all of my 500, 100, and 100 bits, I will put them up. I came on later, thought I missed something. That's not. That's a spicy burger. Is it that? Like, have you had it? Is that why? Are you validating me, or are you saying like that's a spicy burger? Please, you're a loser. Because I'm not sure which. What is the tone that's coming off there? Are you validating me or or, or making fun of me? I'm not sure. Okay. Vraxi. There we go. Um, listen, I'm very wise. Okay, so you are validating my opinion. I have it all the time, right? Because it's yummy. But at the same time, it hurts so much. I'm very white, so to me it's extremely spicy. Um... Well, it's it's good. It is spicy. My nose does run sometimes when I when I eat it. But uh, is that the bit leaders for the stream? Yes, 
that is the current Git leaders, uh, because the new month has clicked over and I currently don't have a leaderboard for gifted subs or bits. So, you know, basically if you do the bare minimum, you'll be on the leaderboard today, which would be awesome. Hey, Treno, how's it going? I'm doing... I wish I could lie and say I'm doing absolutely fantastic, but the, I don't know, the truth is the, I'm sad the internet's not working is basically it, and I'm sick of it. I'm a little angry, uh, but apart from being a little angry, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> How are you going? Rabe caps or rabbi caps thank you so much for following welcome to the stream hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day Ooh. also my joints hurt i really need to go to the chiropractor because everything is just a tad sore <laughs> pronounce however <laughs> because i'm so tense so often i'm so tense all of the time that like my neck always hurts because i'm like I guess I walk around like this constantly or something. <laughs> I need to just relax more. Oh my goodness. Cheer yourself up by watching one talent quest video. I want to save them all for the thing because I don't want to react, love something, and then have everyone else be like, well, too bad, guys. Drop them shoulders like... <sighs> I guess I do like probably walk around with like high strung shoulders a lot. I mean, like, Ooh. But um... Beats by Mathiwa. Thank you so much for following. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. Uh, hello, can you please help me make a producer audio tag? I don't know what that is. Uh, I do that. This guy needs to relax more. I, I don't know what it is. It's just you walk around and you're like, who's going to murder me this time? You've always got to be prepared. You've got to be ready to like up and at him. Uh, <laughs> I have the posture for a seven-year-old. It probably also doesn't help that I do my assignments on a laptop. Like, maybe I should... If I could elevate my monitor and do it here, that'd be great. But I don't have... Wind... Well, no, I do have Windows. Microsoft Office on my PC. I have it on my laptop. So when I'm working, I'm like this. That's not good for you. Uh, I hope you get more videos between now and next week. It'll be easy for one person, that's true. I hope I get a couple more videos so we can like review them and be fun. So if you didn't know guys and you're just brand new here, jump onto my Discord because I have a Google link for a talent show we're going to do where you guys send in a video and we review them on stream together and we have a winner where there will be actual prizes. It'll be fun. Uh, <laughs> hopefully everything goes well and a lot of people chuck the videos in. I just need to say a short phrase. What's in it for me? Hmm? Ruzzy! Stop it! <laughs> stop it, Ruzzy! <laughs> I told you! <laughs> I told everyone it's a phone stream, sound alerts aren't working. <sighs> well, hello, hello, whole day, or this is Kermit the Frog. Please, no. <laughs> I'm trying my best! <laughs> Are you live every day? N not at the current. At the current, I am live Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then Thursday and Saturday are maybes. They're not every week. Um, but yeah, I do solid Monday, Wednesday, Friday, except for this Monday, where I was unying. And <laughs> that was worth the 1,000. <laughs> oh no. Um, give me a number. Feet number. Two. I have two feet. <laughs> Someone please clip that. No. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> People are gonna find out how bad my Kermit impression is. I'm not good at it, okay? Uh, I could say that. So can you say, alright, alright. I'll say it for you. Matthew Rowe went up higher. I'll pop in more, haha, <laughs> you're funny. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, if you jump on my Discord, that is where you get, like, 
pinged to find out exactly when I've gone live, so you can just click the notification and be sent right here, which might be annoying for some people, not gonna lie. <laughs> because there are some nights, like tonight, where I start on my PC and it doesn't work, so I switch to my phone, so people get multiple pings, and I'm sure that's really annoying. Um, do you have a favourite number? Seven, I think. Look, I always say seven, and I'd say that's correct. But then when it comes down to it, I really don't know. Oh, is that the audio tag? What is the audio tag? Look at this! I paid $200 for this, right? And because of my stupid internet, my audio quality will be disgusting. I, uh, I'm sorry, I'll stop being depressed about the internet not working. But I could make... What's the point of having such good stuff? If I can't use it. Ugh. Uh, oh, Sir Fergie! <laughs> the Combine Harvester Man! Oh, Kermit would be proud, don't even stress. Well, thank you very much. Um, do you like Combine Harvesters? Oh, Sir Fergie, of course. We love some Combine Harvesters here. <laughs> sellout? Alright, it's time for the sellout. I'm banned on Discord. My username was taken and I got annoyed. <laughs> and used a bad name, so I got banned for an inappropriate name. Oh no! <laughs> I don't care about the audio, I just want to buy your socks. Okay. Okay, I don't have a ridiculously sized head. It's just my ponytail, okay? Alright, so did you know you can sub and all of that? You can sub for free with Twitch Prime. Why? Because. I'm incredible. <laughs> Apart from what it may look like with nothing working, if this is your first stream, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're usually better than this. Uh, you can also follow. Helps me out a lot. Um, because I would love to get partner. And the views are right down on this video, so it is going to kick my average views for my channel into the gutter. But it's probably my fault for... Well, it's not my fault, is it? The stupid internet's not working as well as... <sighs> Me not streaming on Monday, so I guess it's a little bit my fault. Uh, Rosie, thank you so much for 10 bits. Did you know, all of the bits, even just one, goes towards getting a capture card so we can play games like Just Dance for one, Switch games in general, uh, games on the NES that I've got down there, a whole bunch of things. We are currently at 8.46% of the way to get a capture card so if you have even one spare bit it would help me out a lot if you chuck it over this way and yeah you know all of the good stuff <laughs> follow my socials all of the things are in my uh, the name of the stream use commands they're fun random words like spoon have commands that are just fun to use that's not even me selling out that's just letting you know there's fun things See, Sir Ferky, would you rather spend the rest of your life driving combine harvesters or burp after every word you say? Combine harvesters, I reckon. It'd be, it'd be nice for feeling life out on the field. You'd have a nice view. Burp after every combine harvester. Ducktails? I haven't seen Ducktales. I know it's the new one, but I haven't seen it. The only new like TV show that's like a Disney TV show I watched was, and I guess it's not new for Americans, but it, it only like came out just a little while ago here, was the Tangled, the series one, and I loved it. I know it's made for children, but I had a grand time. Um, Bat Jupiter Rings, hello again, long time see. hello again, how's it going with you? Um, not NES game. Yeah, oh, but I tell you what, retro games make me rage so hard. But it is very cute. Like, I love that very much. It's 
to like boop, 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 boop. It's so cute. But they make me so, so angry. Oh. Um, how are you? I'm going good, thank you. How are you? How is the nephew named in your country? I mean, in DuckTales. Those three nephews. Huey, Dewey, and Louie. It, are they known by other names in other places? Why would they change their names? That's just strange. That's like, my dad has a bunch of, like, I can't, I can't say retro. But I suppose they are a little retro. Because, oh my goodness! Tektronic, thank you so much for 100 bits. You're way too kind. Thank you. Let me put you on the thing. My dad has, I think they were old when he was young. So I think I can say retro. They're out there, actually. And I used to read them all the time as a kid. A bunch of comics. And I love them because they're like, you know. This one is five cents. Oh! AJ Sizzle, thank you so much for 100 bits as well. You are way too kind. Oh my goodness. And Bombo, thank you so much for following. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. Why is my chair moving by itself again? Stewie? What? Why Stewie? Is Huey, Dewey, and Louie? What the fuck? Uh, hold up. Let me write these down. A J Sizzle and Tektronic Two. I can never spell. Tronic Two. Thank you guys so much. Um, you're probably linking me to a picture of a combine harvester, and I don't appreciate it. Turn my light off. Right. Twelve cents. We have a whole bunch of old comics. I love these comics so much. They were my like entire childhood. That and the Peanuts comics, which is why I love Snoopy so much. Alright, come on, where do you say their names? Say it somewhere. prove that they're called this <laughs> but they're not like it doesn't say that it's stupid names okay well it says it in some of them all right i'm not lying <laughs> um okay chair how's your week been Chair's had a pretty relaxing week since I've been doing assignments and haven't been on it much. But I did have, like, a Zoom assessment where I sat on it for ages, so Chair's doing okay. But I've seen that Chair has some new Instagram photos. Chair's a bit of a hoe, if I'm gonna be perfectly honest, judging by the Instagram photos. But, uh, and I, I would like to clarify that I don't run Chair's Instagram account. <laughs> Uh, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I can't see the link because it, there's no links in chat. Wait, alright, so, I just, just want to show you because, I don't know, you guys might find this interesting. Maybe not much, but maybe a little bit. Let me just kick that out of there. Alright. So, yeah. I want to get sleeves for these comics. But, uh, nope. Yes? I was showing people the old comics. Oh, I'm good. I am, yes. So, those are the, the pile of old comics I have. They're super cool, and I want to get sleeves for them. But they're technically not mine, so I don't know how people would feel if I sleeved all the comics. Uh, where is my charger? Hold up, let me replug in my charger. I do have, and Fun Zone Gamers, thank you so much for following me. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. 
Um, I do have actually a um. I don't I don't collect comic books because that is a very expensive hobby to have, and I already have too many expensive hobbies. But I do have a Guardians of the Galaxy one somewhere. Oh, actually. As it turns out, I have two. These are actually mine, because I bought them at Comic-Con. So, I have, um, this Guardians of the Galaxy one. Uh, Viking Guff, thank you so much for following. Welcome to stream. Hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. Wait, does your name go on the whiteboard if you give bits? Yeah, 100 bits are up, and your name goes on the little whiteboard there. Uh, I think it's, it's super cute. Uh, I don't know. I think I still like the super old ones better. Uh, but it's kind of cool. It, sm it smells nice. <laughs> but I don't... I accidentally got, like... Yeah. I got number one, but it's, like, number one of, like, the second set or something. So I didn't even get the, like, the first ever one. So dumb, dumb move on my part. So I, I jumped in, like, basically in the middle of a story. But I have that one. And... I also have this Thor one. I've never actually opened this. <laughs> it's just stayed inside its sleeve the entire time. So you know what? <sighs> I guess you, you guys want to open it? I, I don't. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness! Rave caps, thank you so much! 500 bits. <gasps> you know what that means? We are at... 10.8% all the way to a capture card. You are way too kind. Uh, spell my names backwards? Okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, let me write that. everything on my phone is that the oh, again uh you are so nice and beautiful young lady if beauty were combined harvester you would be the oh well thank you very much i i, I do appreciate being a, a lovely combine harvester um, have you ever stuck in the fridge? No, because, you see, I've never gotten stuck in the fridge because I've never climbed in the fridge. It wouldn't be a stream without the cheeky bot spam. <laughs> All right, we're going to open my, um, this old Thor comic for the first time ever. I haven't opened it. I bought it at a Comic-Con. Uh, <laughs> and I, ooh. Pumper, hi. Oh, well, I already, you're the one who asked in the fridge, right? It smells like old comic. This, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Netamix, thank you so much for following. Welcome to stream. I'm sorry, but... Do you guys know the smell of old comics? It is good. I'm not being a weirdo. It's just really nice. <laughs> My name backwards is Spacebar. Oh! I thought you meant backwards... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. That makes sense though. Okay. I've got hair in my face. Sorry, okay. So this is Thor, the hand of death. Well, I'm not going to read it. This is not story time. We're just having a look. Oh, this is one of my favourite parts of old comics. Is all the ads? Look at that, a comic book convention. That's so cute. I love, there were always, like, in the comics we have out there, they're all, like, the Disney ones and stuff. They're all, like, ads for hostess pies and stuff. Uh, and sea monkeys. That was a big one, too. They were always advertising, like, sea monkeys. This is a fighter plane. I've got to find more ads. I... 
probably want to see like bits of the comic, but like I want to see the ads. Ooh, she's very fancy. <laughs> Hi, really beautiful and cute. Thank you very much. I want more ads. What year was this? I really want. Did it say? Ooh, 1984. That's pretty cool. Ooh, earn prizes and cash. Make big money. <laughs> Extra spending money. They're just advertising money to the children. I'm not gonna do a bathtub stream. <laughs> Nobody has ever said I want my ads until right now. I'm sorry, this is exciting. I love seeing all the old stuff. Okay. Ah. Uh, Okay, if you have never read this comic before, spoilers, Thor wins. Um, yep. Look at that! Okay, I'm not... Look at that! This ad. <laughs> Advanced Dungeons and Dragons video game. That's crazy that that was like in a comic in the 80s because I remember, well I don't remember, I'm not that old, okay? I was not born in the 80s. I remember hearing that in the 80s they had all these like massive crusades against Dungeons and Dragons and saying it was like stuff of the devil. So I'm surprised that it's just being freely advertised here. Frogger. This is incredible. I'm so glad I opened this. This was 60 cents. So hang on, let me go get the other one again because I want to know what year that was because comic prices either went up or this is just a fancy edition. Okay, so yeah, this is 12 cents, and this is 1967, uh, which, look, it is in excellent condition for being from the 60s. Still, I want to sleeve them, so I want to find where I can buy these and buy a whole bunch of them, uh, <laughs> because I seriously want to sleeve these comics because they're not going to be like this forever, okay? Sure, they're this good from the 60s, but not forever. So, this is the 80s. 12 cents to 60 cents. Great inflation. Just, just ignore chat right now. Just ignore all of that. Uh, this, I don't remember how much I paid for this. <laughs> Why did I pay so much for this? This was $29. And I got this in 2019. So, you know. We can see the difference. <laughs> we can see the difference. Office Works has sleeves. Thank you very much. I'm just. I'm. I'm not even gonna ask. They technically belong to my dad, but I care so much about these that I'm not even gonna ask. I'm. I'm just gonna sleeve them all. Let me. Wait. We actually sold some a while back. They were like. I don't, I don't remember what they, they were. They were ones that I didn't remember reading. Please fix my name, sorry. Oh my goodness, thank you for another 500 bits. We're at 12% of the way to a catch, 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 capture card, okay. number one spot and thank you a thousand bits altogether you were way too kind oh my goodness but yeah why did I pay $29 <laughs> 
when you could get back in the day less than a dollar. What happened to the world? The world is ruined. Because, okay. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'm not here to simply talk about comic book inflation, but this was two dollars fifty. Nineteen seventy-three. I'm sorry. I love Snoopy so much. If you, if you're looking at my PO box and want to send me anything, send me something Snoopy. I love him very much. I have like fifty pairs of Snoopy socks because I love it so much. Uh, <laughs> That's the wrong Matisse MC Tam. Um, okay, so these Charlie Brown books, my favorite, hundred percent. I love Snoopy. These I read these fifty times. We have so many of these. Didn't want to bring them in because there is like fifty of them, so they stay because that would be way too hard. We also had Calvin and Hobbes, loved those as well. Uh, but I brought in one just to be like, these are incredible, and even more than these guys. I love these so much. So, these are the comic books. <laughs> so many Donald Duck ones. And the Donald Duck comics were my favorite as a kid. Uh, and let me find one. So this one doesn't have a cover. And you can basically blame, blame my little brothers for the state that some of these are in. Because there is one that makes me so mad. Where is it? Oh, these were also good. What year is this? I don't know. This was 35 cents, so it's probably not the 60s still. Yeah, this is 78. So that... <gasps> we don't, I don't need to give you a flipping d b lecture on comic book prices. Um, hey, Not Smasher. I am good. Thank you. How are you going? <laughs> Stop eat lasagna. I I didn't have I don't think I actually had Garfield comics. I maybe read one, but I didn't have a heap of them. Um, oh, okay. So see this. This is exactly why I want to sleeve these comics. My little brothers make me so mad sometimes. So flipping mad. Uh, memo. Goad? Thank you so much for following. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. Um, oh, three months and two days. Fancy. Okay, so we have here a pretty thick Superman one. Superman takes a wife. <laughs> uh, this? I'm not saying a word until I, I know what it means. Can someone Google Translate? <laughs> so, wait, wait. This one. Yeah. 2000? This was published in 2000. Apparent. Unle no, that's the postcode. Okay, that's the postcode. I'm dumb. 75 cents. Why does it not give me a year? I'm guessing in the 70s. From what we've done with pricing so far. But it doesn't give me a date. But anyway, have this fancy Superman one. All black and white though. But it is a big book. It's got some super wife in there as well. <laughs> and there's also a Batman one here. Which should ad actually advertise cricket on the back. Pretty fancy. Uh, this one's all in colour. I didn't really read the Batman ones as a kid because I was never really into Batman. The, the publish should be on the front, easily 70s. Yeah, it's it's not on the front. Like, 
the year literally is not on the front of this one. This one's 35 cents. But it also does not have the year on the front. But there are some down here that are just like, they're just pages. And that's what makes me so cross and what makes me want to like, <sighs> fix them. There are a couple other Superman ones. Oh, this is good. I like this as well. That's good. Be right back. Okay, see ya for a second. Oh, they were like Tom and Jerry ones too. They were pretty cool. This is Tom and Jerry number 11. This one's a little bit worse shape than the other ones. Plus it doesn't have a back page, which really sucks because then you can't finish them. The Australian comics, I, well my dad got them in Australia so I might say so. But yeah. <laughs> Bugs Bunny ones were always good too. But also, Feathery Duck, the cousin of Donald Duck. Incredible. Well, Donald Duck is, okay, I love Donald Duck comics. <laughs> the worst part is that because these are my dad's and technically not mine, I'm not going to have them like forever and I love them so much so I don't know maybe I should next time I go to a comic con or something I should start collecting some of my own uh dream thank you so much for following welcome the stream hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day yeah I should go around and like search for Donald Duck comics or something next time I do a comic con actually this one's pretty cool too Here's a couple interesting ones. We have um, a Disneyland one, which is pretty darn big. This is Disneyland Magazine for 9p. comics in it. I think that's cool because it's just so massive. I don't actually have no idea when that was from. There's also the Hardy Boys comic. We have that one. This is 14 cents. All color. You know, very fancy. Like, okay, so when I read this, it was all well and good, but it was not like the same experience as I had with like retro comics. It, ju it just wasn't the same. It doesn't have funny ads in it. You know, what? what's a girl to do without funny ads? And what, well, okay, this. Magnus Robot Fighter. <laughs> So yeah, very cool. Uh, she is drawn exactly like Superman's wife. So maybe, maybe it is. I don't know. Let me see if I can find my favourite ads. <laughs> Get the Tin Tins. I think I might have seen some somewhere, but I don't think I have any in that pile. Are there no ads in this one? I want to find a hostess ad. For hostess pies. Because those were always funny. Or Lucky Charms. They were always advertising Lucky Charms as well. Wow. Maybe they were in the Mickey Mouse ones? There's a couple of Mickey Mouse comics. Well, now, now I've talked about the ads, I can't find them. Now I'm really cross. Uh, Dominator, thank you so much for following. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. I am from Sydney, Australia. So yeah. There's kind of... The comic book collection, I suppose.
told you, I'm 21. <laughs> and yep. Yeah. Let's rebag the Thor one that I just <laughs> opened for the first time. Which we'll chuck him back in. That's so cool. I can't believe there's a whole advertisement for like <laughs> look, all of the different ways you can play Frogger. You got some Atari, uh, Commodore, Colco <laughs> Vision. <laughs> all the different ways that you like to play Frogger. Frogger is one of the all-time great award-winning home video games, and now Parker Brothers has programmed it into all the most popular video and computer formats so that you can keep things hopping at home. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. Nice, I love Marvel Comics. Awesome. This is a super old one. Not as old as the ones that I was showing back here, but decently old. And then this is a newer one, which doesn't smell the same, and that is highly disappointing. Um, do you read horror comics at all? Um, I would like to. I love horror stuff a lot. So feel free to jump in my Discord and give me some suggestions. The Insta? Do exclamation mark Insta. That should work. <laughs> Green to Mexico? Awesome. I really want to go to Mexico. I would love to do, um, oh, for some reason Twitch has been recommending nothing but odd streamers to me. Well, hope that that's a good thing. <laughs> um, I really want to go to Mexico because I think it would be super fun. I want to do like maybe Florida Disney and Mexico in one trip because they're kind of, not really, but kind of near each other. And yeah, I'd love to go to Mexico. My parents went and I loved seeing the photos. Uh, nice to meet you, I'm new to the channel. Hi, how's it going? Welcome. Yeah. Insta- oh, like, like this. Like, me. You from England? No, I am from Australia. Why is that not working? That should be working. What the heck? Do you watch Magic Journeys on YouTube? I don't actually. Uh, I'd say, who do I watch on YouTube? Uh, Alright, let's go expose myself, hey? What channel? Who am I subscribed to? Alright, so I'm subscribed to a lot of Reddit channels, so be prepared for that. So here's who I'm subscribed to on YouTube. Uh, more? M O A R Reddit channel, Cinnamon Toast Ken, Reaction channel, uh, Join It Again, Reaction. He he streams on Twitch actually, and I rated him once. I don't think he cared though because he's much more famous than me. Call Me Kevin, my number one YouTuber. If you ask me who my favorite YouTuber is, I will say Call Me Kevin, uh, because he is the chaos that I aspire to be. <laughs> uh, Eleanor Neal. True Crime, Nick D. Ramio, uh, movie reviews, uh, X O Reddit, Call Me Kevin Streams, Elvis the Alien Movies, Let's Read, R Slash, Tommy In It, <laughs> Cinema Summary, uh, S Two W, Cynical Reviews, Noel Miller, Marky, Daz Games, Love Daz Games, Found Flicks, Wilbur Soot, uh. Danny Gonzalez, Jack Manifold, Vinci, Dream, Nerd Explains, Long Nail, Mark Narrations, I Never Drew Gooden, Easy Speezy, Comic Crafter, Q Star, Sensitive Society, Noble Xenon, Amanda the Jedi, Mr. Beast, Slimesicle, Mr. Nightmare, Tom Harlock, Cinema Sins, James Marriott, Kitchen Nightmares, Ready to Glare, Illuminati, Technoblade, uh, Critical Role, One Topic at a Time, uh, Mocha Milk, which has a Samoyed in it, and I love Samoyeds. <laughs> I want one, so bad. No Disney vloggers? Uh, probably at the end, but I don't really watch them that much. Uh, there is one that does ride points of view. Like, they do ride POVs. I watch them all the time, and they make me cry because I'm so happy. Uh, <laughs> Kevin's K-pop videos, top tier content. Uh, 
do you watch Netflix? What do you watch? I don't watch TV shows much. I mostly watch like internet kind of things more than TV shows. But if I'm going to watch Netflix at the moment, it changes. I watched like a lot of horror movies, so I've watched a lot of horror from Netflix. I've almost watched it all, so you know, I've exhausted my resources there a little bit. But at the moment, I am like stuck on bad 90s movies. And they have to be kind of bad. So like cringy 90s movies is one thing that I love so much right now. So that's probably if I'm going to be watching something, that would be what I'm watching. Um, are you rich? Very much not. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes people like assume, oh, you're a streamer, you must be rich. Very much not. Uh, I'm just trying to get it going, basically. I'm still kind of a baby streamer. I've only been doing it for six months. And I really want to, you know, go places with it and make it a thing. But, you know, it's a slow process. And it's hard to make sure that, that you're doing everything right. And it's hard to grow sometimes. But... I hope that it works. Plus, if you're not, if you're not, if you're new here and you don't know already, my setup is down here. I have a dual monitor setup, but I'm streaming on my phone tonight because things aren't working. So things are more like you know better set up than this. We have a chat box and everything. Uh, Ironside, thank you so much for following. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. Uh, Clueless is not cringy. <laughs> What's your zodiac sign? Sagittarius. I love watching the Vampire Diaries. I've never watched that. Okay, uh, these are some other people that I'm subscribed to. Institute of Human Anatomy, <laughs> James A. Caster, Tommy Outit, Fresh, Let Me Explain, Nimbo, Callum Markey, Cody Co, A How to Dad, Sadist, uh, Grainolf, PewDiePie, Justin Minx, Ginny D, Momo O'Brien, Jester's Sketchbooks, uh, and then a bunch of people that I never watch. Wow. I have like a hundred channels here that I never watch. Fun. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. Uh, whoopsies. Do I have abs? No. I do not have abs. I know hot tub streams get views. I don't have a hot tub. Do not own one of those, actually. Um, can't wait to see the stream when it's out of early access. <laughs> you know what's so upsetting, right? And I said this earlier in the stream, but I'll say it again. Like, I wanted to play Resident Evil on stream, but it's $122. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome raiders. Let me... I don't think any mods are on. It may just be me. There we go. Resident Evil 8, yes. I wanted to play Resident Evil 8, but I got not paying $122. Baby Rave, I'm here. No, welcome. Thank you. It's, you're coming into, like, the dodgiest stream ever. My internet's not working with my PC, so I'm on my phone, and I've been nerding out about my <laughs> living <laughs> retro comic books for ages. Maybe I should, oh, they should get these off my desk and stack up some others. We also unboxed this, which I had never opened before. I got it at a Comic-Con two years ago, 2019, and I hadn't even opened it yet. So we had a look at this, and it was super cute. I uh, had a look at my single <laughs> modern comic. I only have retro ones. <laughs> and Charlie Brown books, because they're my favourite things ever. Put those up there. <laughs> um, all my games decided to not work. No! You have a ton of comics like that. Okay, look, most of mine are Donald Duck ones. But there's a whole bunch of cool ones here. I love them. Anyway. <laughs> love you 3000. Oh. I'd want to see that Resonate stream though, not gonna lie. So would I, but I don't have $122. Uh, like from streaming, I try and do things where I can still make a semi-profit. 
So like I did a hot sauce stream where it cost $40 for the hot sauce wheel and I made $50. So I had a $10 profit, but like it's been a, like a slow couple of months. So I've only been making like around $100 a month from streaming, which is, is hard because I want to get to a place where I'm able to pay for like better internet uh, maybe an office space for all this stuff, which I know is going to be a while. Um, Ozzy Yusuf, thank you so much for following. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. So, if I paid for Resident Evil 8, that would be like my whole streaming income for that month. And I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> Uh, she can't even afford jeans with knees, guys. Look, look, okay. My jeans have knees if I do that. <laughs> That's what, exactly what my grandfather says. Sometimes my grandfather will pop in for a surprise visit to drop over some homemade ice cream. And he goes, oh, your mother can't afford to put you in jeans with, like, <laughs> out holes in them. <laughs> do you need me to come and look after you? Because you can't, you, you're walking around with jeans with holes in them. <laughs> Uh, where you can pay your mods a wage too. <laughs> Look, when you when you start out, you have no money. Uh, donations, well, we've had a, a great night with donations, but donations can be scarce. So, um, wonderful. That's three times tonight, guys. Donations can be scarce. So, you know, it can be a little hard to get things going basically <sighs> you know what I'm semi glad that I'm not on my PC tonight because if you guys remember the last time we had a bot raid on my PC I should probably sit like a lady I'm sorry <laughs> if you guys remember the last time we had a bot raid on the PC it broke my alert box past the point where I muted it and it was still going bring 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 the entire time so it's probably for the best because I can just ignore it here uh, what's the point of holes in the jeans I think this is a real one uh, D accent I'm sorry for butchering your name uh, welcome to the stream hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day what's the point of sh holes in jeans fashion Sorry? Spacebar just tipped $42? Oh my goodness! Hold up. That would... This probably comes with a message. Uh, it ain't much, but tall vampire babe awaits. Also, 42 is the meaning of life. That is very true. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Thank you so, so much. Oh. Hold up. Let me move the comment. Yes, <laughs> big up space fun. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Hang on, I'm modding myself today. Saferki, watch yourself. I'm giving you a timeout because that was rude. <laughs> space bar is a pretty good diet. Oh my goodness. Where the mods at? I think they're all sleeping. <laughs> Space bar, big ups to you. Um, actually, it's that way. <laughs> Stephen Glitch, thank you so much for following. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what to say. You were way too kind. Oh my goodness. I, I you can't even see your name up here. Hold up. Dial 
dial up moment I'm out. Fair, fair, fair play. My internet does drop sometimes. So I understand leaving because it sucks. <laughs> yeah. Let me just plug myself for a second. And by myself, I mean my talent show. <laughs> Come into my Discord. Film yourself doing a talent. It can be anything. It doesn't have to show your face. Uh, you could win, uh, n not cash, but an actual prize that's worth cash. <laughs> and yeah, it's, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a fun experience where we can all like, I don't know, bond with chat. But apart from that, yes. Oh my goodness, thank you so much. And I know that stuff is dropping right now. You killed the stream with that amazingness. <laughs> Wait, 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 My pens still have that stupid, like, this is a brand new pen, so I need to get, like, the, the thing off. space bar um old mate sando thank you so much for following welcome to the stream hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day your tats are so good oh yeah <laughs> this is why you don't get me to put stuff on myself i probably should have put it here so now i need to like <laughs> nah man we space bar not yeah <laughs> it's all good here. It's not a bad thing, you know, doing that. Being nice to women isn't a bad thing. Oh. I did my microphone grab and like yell at it to <laughs> make a point. <laughs> it's not working today. It's okay. It's fine. Everything's all good. Funnily enough, a lot of my streams go pretty well when I'm not on my PC. <laughs> Coincidence? I don't know. Hmm. You're right, being nice to women is very poggers. Speaking of, I have a thing, right? Where is it? This is completely, probably unimportant to you. But I have a sticker that says Poggers. I want to put it like I want to put it somewhere. It just says Poggers. It's beautiful. Being nice to women. Poggers. If someone donates a hundred, will you write their name on your forehead? Yeah, I would do that. In this house, we respect women. <laughs> oh, great time. It's a Pog Champ. Keep that card on you at all times. Wait, which one? This one? Or this one? <laughs> We're gonna... Poggers. Wait. Just one. Sub more than 45, where would you sign? I don't know. Anywhere not covered by clothes is free game, I suppose. Uh, but oh my goodness! Rave caps! $24, you are way too kind. Hold up. 
Um, I have to do the opposite of my alter ego space bar. <laughs> I, um, like, Two-Face from Batman or something. <laughs> okay. Let me do space bar's alter ego. <laughs> Hold up. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, oh. I'll do it on my bicep. But I can't, <laughs> I can't rap with my left hand. Um. Is it a no? Okay, I'll do a capital R because I did the capital A on per on accident. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> um, how do I do an S with this hand? S's go like like. E. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't write with my left hand. Pretty snazzy, actually. Look at that. <laughs> um, being nice to women, poggers. Being nice to Matisse Prize. Oh. <laughs> okay. Chesticles are off limit. One because I don't want to get them out on stream, and two because I would get banned as well. So it's a hard no for me. Um. <laughs> literally like two faced right now thank you for following Yasa welcome to the stream hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day and um K Hintels and 996We22 thank you both for following welcome to the stream hey Yasa how is it going uh, can I get a cheek for $20 you can get a little one of my cheek for 20 sure <laughs> yeah mm. wait can I screenshot this my friends love would you like it like this like a I'll give you a bunch of faces. <laughs> Wait, I can. <laughs> Poggers. And nine ilk and I. <laughs> Thank you so much for following us as well. Welcome to the stream of you're also having a fabulous day. I actually can't make my belly as big as a pregnant woman simply because that's about as far as I can go. Not very far at all. <laughs> oh, let's stay safe. Stay safe too. Don't let yourself get hurt. That would be terrible. That's, that's a really awkward spot to have put it, actually, in it. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Uh, oh, the names are getting hard and hard to say. Uh, Lister, thank you so much for following. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. Where are you from? And Funzone Gamers, hi, and Fatnik, hi as well. How are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, if you can see... Uh, yeah, how are you guys going? The fun fact about this is that this isn't actually a pen. Uh, this is what I use to write names on myself. It is a brown eyeliner. The fun part about it is that it's waterproof. So, <laughs> it... It's gonna be on there tomorrow. It takes me flipping ages to scrub this garbage off. <laughs> How much to write my name on top of your lip? Just kidding. <laughs> I don't know, man. Um, you're already pretty, may you bless me with the Instagram? Do exclamation mark Instagram, it works. Or exclamation mark socials, as it says in the title of the stream, which should be there if I'm pointing in the right direction, depending on where you are. Um, I feel lonely. Then why did you write love? Don't be lonely. If you're lonely, get a dog or a cat. Maybe a hamster. Or a hermit crab. 
or a frog. Seeing as frogs are a little bit of a meme, I was thinking like, how much would it be to upkeep a frog? And then I was like, no, you don't need a pet frog. You do not need a pet frog. <laughs> you regret it now, sorry. Oh no. Don't regret it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it's fine. Where are you from? I'm from Australia. Yes, Sydney, Australia. The part that most people would know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think if you're from other countries, kind of first thing that you're aware of is Sydney. Even though it's not the capital. Guys, drink plenty of water. Okay, look, I'm drinking a lot of water tonight for a good reason. It's not a dumb reason, it's a good reason. And that is because I had a chili burger tonight. Uh, if you're from Australia and you've had a porto, that's why I'm drinking so much water, because I am dehydrated. Okay? Oh my goodness, Tectronic! Tectronic just tipped $15.47, which I'm assuming would be $20 Australian. Uh, so much closer to Resident Evil 8. Oh my goodness. So if you've just jumped in the stream and you have no idea, um, I was gonna play Resident Evil 8, right? But it was $122 and I was like, heck to the flipping no. <laughs> so everyone's like, <laughs> we want to see. Alright, Tektronic asked if he could have a name on a cheek. Okay. Um, now you gotta wash my names off. Never mind. Don't regret your legend. <laughs> I really want to donate when I'm poor. Oh, look. I always say look after yourself first. So donate if you can, but not like if it's gonna hurt you. Make sure that your bills are paid, you have stuff you want, like, you know, give yourself, you know, save some money to treat yourself to pizza or something. <laughs> uh, okay, so Tektronic said, gee, okay. Ah, uh, this is not gonna go well. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Ek. Oh, e. That's not an E, that's a C. Heck, I need a mirror. <laughs> Frog, you're coming with me. Okay. Uh, oh, wow, that's, that's even worse than I thought. Okay, um, we go E, K. Two. I did it! <laughs> oh my goodness, there we go. Don't do that, why would you do that? Have you all gone scuba? I haven't gone scuba diving, but I would love to. I think it would be so much fun. I am scared of water before. Um, I have a mirror behind. I. Good point. <laughs> I forgot about that. I'm like. I wanted to go scuba diving for like so long. I do. I am. Bleh. <laughs> I am a little scared of the ocean, so, <laughs> but I would love to. I think it would be really cool, especially in like a sunken ship, although I could have a panic attack, or I could love it. I'm not sure, but I would love to try. Um, if you do jump from Resident 8, I'll pop in. That's my weekend plan. Digitally expensive, but it's only $90 in JB Hi-Fi. Oh, maybe I should check out JB Hi-Fi. Interesting. You're riding backwards? What? I can, I can read it. Is it? Wait. What? <laughs> Is it? I guess you read. Which way do you read? You read this way. So I wrote it the right way, right? What are you using to write? I'm using <laughs> using this. It's a waterproof brown eyeliner, so it takes forever to get off. Uh, I'm not using Sharpie, so I thought, hey, I have this. I never use it ever. I'm pretty sure I got it in like 2018 and have pretty much never used it. 
So I was like, yeah, heck germs, it's gonna be fine. Mirrors are flipped. Oh no. Faces mirrored on phone. Oh no. <laughs> Read it backwards. Where do you get white eyeliner? Oh, you get white eyeliner from like pharmacies and stuff, like Priceline Pharmacy. Fucko, thank you for hosting the stream. I actually do use white eyeliner for some of my cosplays. So, not many places sell white eyeliner, but I know that Priceline does. Left to right. Oh dear. <laughs> Hold up. I can fix this. I can fix it. One simple step to fixing what happened here. One simple step. Alright, look at this. Look at Now it is correct. <laughs> Use that to get rid of them. Why do you look like an angel? I don't know, but thank you very much. Um, which comics are we talking about? Oh, we talked about some retro ones. So a lot of Donald Duck ones, to be honest, but we saw some Superman, Batman ones. Um, had a look at my single new comic. Uh, my Snoopy ones, but I have like 50 of them. I didn't bring them in and we unboxed this comic for the first time and It was very cool and it had some awesome ads from the 80s that I loved very much. I appreciated it so much um, You should write bucko on the bottom of your foot. I did that once actually I wrote someone I did a stream where people could pay to like write names on me and they could pay and someone paid and said, could you write Andy on the bottom of your foot? And I did that. <laughs> so that was ages ago. But nowadays, I wear socks all the time as streamer protection because I'm scared of the people that are like, give me them feet. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? Hey, Wilson. Um, I mentioned that I was sad that I was too poor to play Resident Evil and everyone started throwing money at me. <laughs> and so uh, the people who have been throwing money at me I've been writing them because they're incredible and they deserve all the love and recognition. Um, you better not make any plans tomorrow. Actually, I'm going out tomorrow to buy a couple of new pairs of heels for my placement, my uni placement, uh, which I finally found out the location, but I'm not telling you because then I could get killed with a shovel. Uh, <laughs> so I finally find out, found out today and it starts on Monday. So uh, I'm got to go buy some heels because if you saw, I got a whole bunch of new clothes for because I've got to look professional. <laughs> so I need to get some fancy shoes. So I actually am going out tomorrow. But hmm. four, five, oh my, oh my goodness. Uh, Guardians, yes, I love Guardians. The face was beyond creepy. <laughs> Uh, I like that you don't see snuck, snuck up, <laughs> stuck up and snobby. Well, thank you very much. Uh, stream protection is what I should call socks now. <laughs> yes, they have streamer protection. Usually they're way more fun than this because these are my like most boring socks. I wear socks every single day, all the time, and they're all like super fancy and a follow bot rate. That's just like the fourth or fifth one tonight. I don't know what's going on. It's ridiculous. But like this drawer, has heaps of socks in it. This drawer has heaps of socks in it. I just have fancy socks looking everywhere. These are some cool ones. I like them. And I bought some new ones because I saw that some place was having a sale on socks. So I have some socks, uh, <laughs> the most exciting ones. I have ones that have strawberry milk on them. And if you're a sub, you know how much I love strawberry milk. Uh, and I also got some ones that look like um, the goose from Untitled Goose Game. They have like a little, little beak there and a little eye. I'll have to show you guys when my package comes in. Um, do you watch MCU? Yes. Murder with a shovel is so messy and impractical. Maybe, but it also seems like the most horrible way to die. Love your smile, keep smiling. Uh, everyone else is in that top drawer, huh? Uh, <laughs> my underwear. Uh, a stream protection Dropbox care package behind you. <laughs> yes, 
in case, like, I f did forget to put my stream protection on, and if you just jumped in, that means socks, not something gross, okay? Um, <laughs> but I did forget to put them on start, so I did, <laughs> the first thing I did was put socks on. I'm gonna talk about Age of Our MCU and Marvel. One of my favourite pins, and I won't go get it, but, oh, actually I can bring you, because I have my phone. Hold up. Eh. Alright, alright. <laughs> so, I collect pins. I love pins very much, and whoopsies, all of them go here. Hold up, I'll swap this way. See. So, I have Grumpy Thor. He's very cool. And then this is one of my favorites. I got it actually at Disneyland. This is Legendary Outlaw Star Lord. Because if you can't tell, I quite like the Guardians of the Galaxy. I actually also. Uh, I'll take it with you. I'll take you with me. I gotta be quiet though because my brother's are sleeping. This is like my costume room, okay? It's technically the spare bedroom, but I have taken it over. I also have this. <laughs> like some kind of nerd I know. Disgusting. Let's go back to my room without waking anyone up. Those are fun. Oh my. Oh. <laughs> um, a turtle king, thank you so much for following. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. <laughs> I'm good. I'm okay. <laughs> oh, spooked, yes. Got him. <laughs> Which Disneyland? The uh, one in Anaheim. I've been there twice now. To me, the top line of the shirt says kebab. It actually says gear shift in the made up alien language. <laughs> Bit of nerd fact for you. <sighs> Gosh, I hope you're also having a great day. A little bit. <laughs> Resident Evil is coming early tonight. I knew she was gonna make noise. It wasn't my fault. My brother jumped out at me from the dark. It was not my fault. <laughs> Look, they, they're probably all three of them are awake now. One definitely was, the one that jumped out at me. He's actually the one that doesn't want to be named because his, you know, he doesn't want his face hacked. Resident Evil is not tonight. Resident Evil 8 is not tonight because uh, my PC is having a few issues with the internet. Uh, so I'm on my phone. Uh, but when I can get my PC up and running, we'll, we'll see what we can do with that. Um, <laughs> Resident Evil 9 starring unnamed brother. <sighs> it is 10.58pm where I am currently. And again, apologies, but I had a chili burger, so I am very thirsty. <laughs> but yeah. A massive thank you to these guys who have been contributing to, I suppose, the, the Resident Evil Fund. <laughs> because I am too poor. Like, oh. I tell, it's, you've probably either been through this or are going through this or about to go through this, you know. You probably have some idea what this is, but it is kind of difficult being a, a full-time student sometimes. Because, like, currently for me, I'm about to go on placement I have three weeks of full-time work that I'm not paid for. I've known people who have to quit their jobs to complete this pace placement because actual workplaces don't want to give people just three weeks off for no reason. It's disgusting. I hate it so much. <laughs> At least you look beautiful, thank you. Um, I'm 21. <laughs> I'm poor, I can't afford it either. <laughs> it's 8 a.m. here, ooh. That's actually before I normally wake up. <laughs> so props to you for already being awake. It gets to this point and I'm like, I guess it's just uni student things, you know? I sit there 
and I wake up at like 10 because I go to sleep at like 2 a.m. Although I will say, okay, so I don't, I don't think any of the people on here, I don't know if Wilson's still here, he might know, but my favorite game ever it would be Breath of the Wild. I love Zelda. It, the music is incredible. It's, it's very happy and I love it so much. Um, but recently, because I had a bad Monday, and you guys know I cancelled my stream on Monday because I had that massive assignment and I was just not feeling good. Um, I settled down, I was like, I need to pick me up. So I was like, let's go play Breath of the Wild. And I haven't played it in ages because the... <laughs> the controls mess me up because I've been playing Phoenix Rising and the controls are like the opposite. And so it, <laughs> it screws me up, but it didn't screw me up that much. I jumped on Breath of the Wild again and I just went Korok Seed hunting and I had a great time. So that was really great. Albie, welcome! How are you, 10 a.m.? That would be amazing, I know. I'm about to... So, my placement for uni is one hour away, no traffic. So, I'm going to have to leave an hour and a half before I need to get there. And I need to get there probably around 8, maybe? So... 6.30 I need to leave, so I need to like get up at 6. <laughs> My life is about to be over, which is going to be really fun with the whole streaming thing and staying up super late. <laughs> I'm going to be like, right, I get four hours of sleep tonight before I have to be up and at my work that I don't get paid for. I'm sorry, placement makes me angry, but it's going to be good, hopefully. Um... Thank you for following Bugsy Boy. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. Do you like Deadpool? I liked the second Deadpool movie more than the first one. Um, the I don't I, the crass humor. Like I have the humor of a fourteen year old boy. Don't get me wrong, but some of it was just I don't know. It made me a little uncomfortable, and I know that's kind of the point. But I definitely enjoyed the second movie more than the third. I mean, not the. More than the first one. Uh, I don't know. The first one was a little gross for me. <laughs> Which, you know, you're probably like, oh, disgusting, silly woman. But, <laughs> but you know, I don't know. Um, is your placement out west or down south? I'm not actually going to tell you where my placement is, but it's not in a fun direction. <laughs> uh... Guys, I'm saying you want to look beautiful like her, sleep till 10 a.m. But it, look, it's a normal normal person hour of like time frame if you think about it. Because if you go to sleep at 2, it's still like 8 hours. You know, I, I sleep like a normal person, just in the wrong spot. I need to like shift it a couple of hours that way so I can be like a normal person. Uh, placement would be horrible, but I hope it helps land the career you want. 6 isn't that bad. It's not even the career I want. It's the only, like, masters I got an offer into, so I'm doing a masters in this, I suppose. Um, the career I would love would be to do documentaries. Like, okay, so I did my undergrad, I'm currently doing a masters if you don't know, uh, 21 doing a masters, some people are impressed by that, you might not be, but <laughs> I think it's cool. Um, I did my undergrad in, in ancient history. And I watched so many documentaries as a kid. I loved them so much. I still watch a couple now and again. But, like, my dream career would be documentaries, right? But that's, that would be, like, so, so hard to get into. So ridiculously hard that, like, you know. <laughs> what I'm currently doing wouldn't land me that dream career. But I don't think anything really would. Because you just have to be kind of, like, right place, right time, right person. But to do documentaries, I think I'd also have to do Masters of Research and a PhD, maybe. Unless they simply want a presenter. Because <laughs> I can do that part, but I'm doing my Masters in something else. So I may have to do like two more degrees if I actually wanted to land that. Which I never would, so. Uh, I'm so sorry now I'm going around. Wish you all the success in the future. Thank you. I don't find what you do interesting. Fair enough. Maybe you are, but based on how long I was here, I don't feel it. I'm sorry, please don't be mad at me. That's fine. I'll see you never. <laughs> Once upon a David Attenborough. <laughs> Finally, someone who doesn't show boobies for follows. <laughs> um, 
And no one cares. <laughs> Do a career you love, then it doesn't feel like working. It's hard to just get careers you love, though, sometimes. Just enjoy doing anything. <laughs> they're gone now because I mean that's that's a little mean <laughs> if you don't if you don't like a stream you can just leave you don't have to say hey you're boring I don't know <laughs> chug it then completely fill it again uh your mama fat thank you so much for following welcome to the stream hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day and broam shy guy thank you so much for following as well I hope you're also having an absolutely wonderful day uh, I can chug it, yeah. Documentaries are awesome. Have you seen the Netflix one about the driver that got stuck in the bottom of the ocean without any oxygen? Last breaths. I haven't. I should check that out. I mostly watched like history documentaries and it got to the point where I was in school and the teacher would be like, we're watching a documentary today. And I'd be like, oh, I've seen this one twice already. <laughs> Don't worry about them. Purposely write stuff like that to get a reaction. <laughs> Thanks. We have, we have like, the the knowledgeable streamer Albie here. He's, he's like, I don't know. I don't. I don't want to call you a veteran because I don't. I don't know how long you've been streaming for, but I think longer than me. I'm still like, people come in just mess with me, and I'm like, eh. I need to get my like thick skin sometimes. Uh, that's a lot less water. Yeah, I can chug this much easy, but. I thought I could get it all, but it turns out I can maybe get it in two lines. There we go. <laughs> Have you seen New Zealand today? Not really a serious documentary, but yeah, I haven't. Uh, knowledgeable, you eventually get a stone cold heart and you're just like, screw everyone. <laughs> Heck you all, chat. Heck you. Um, Guy Williams guy. It's also it's a TV show. Yeah. Uh, New Zealand Today is also a TV show. I don't know. I guess I haven't had much need to look into New Zealand. I haven't had much uh, I don't know, interest. Uh, everyone drink water, stay hydrated. Yeah, that's not fair. I thought there's a lot. Uh, well, you thought incorrectly, and I still won. Doesn't matter how, still did it. So that's all that matters. Um. I like Shrek. Very noble. I was never allowed to watch Shrek, and I still haven't watched Shrek because uh, of the, the guy's name sounding too close to a rude word. Like, the, the, like the king, I think? Maybe he's a prince? He's a lord. That guy. Uh, so I've never watched Shrek because I was not allowed to as a kid. Um, Dat Goof, thank you so much for following, and Aaron as well, thank you so much for following. Welcome to the stream, both of you. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Um, it's like a parody documentary show by comedian. Ooh, I do like my some comedians. Uh, so the doc is, what's your favorite moment in history? Ooh, that's, that's a tough one. There are so many moments. I can't, I can't, I don't think I could pick a moment. I'd say Bronze Age Greece is pretty cool because that's what I majored in. <laughs> Yes, that. I don't want to say it now because uh, someone's going to clip it and show my mother <laughs> that I'm going to be in strife. Uh, not really. I'm my own person and I am technically an adult. I'm 21 years old. I can do what I please. But I myself. Mm, I don't know about that. <laughs> Some says, how long have you been going out with your chair? How long have I been going out with my chair? Oh, for ages. Me and chair. Sorry. Um, that's a burp. Actually, it wasn't a burp. I, uh, I'm, I'm a hiccupper. I hiccup all the time. I hiccup after I eat. I hiccup after I drink. Um, 
My mother has told me ever since I was a baby I hiccup just an awful lot. So, <laughs> chronic hiccupper I suppose. <laughs> my favourite moment in history was Assassin's Creed. Uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey looks like a pretty cool game. I never played it, but I know a couple of people that did and it looked pretty cool. We had discussions in history class about like the historical accuracy of it and I'm like, shut up guys, just enjoy things. Like I was one of those history students that was like, look, I don't care if the mummy's not historically accurate, I love it. And where other history students would be like, mummies don't actually do that. <laughs> I don't watch historical films because they're not accurate. I'm like, it's not about being accurate, it's about being entertaining. Does anyone want to go watch 300 with me? That movie's a banger. <laughs> Uh, and thank you so much for following uh, Yang Sam. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. You probably eat too fast, which is why you hiccup. Maybe. Could be true. But I have three little brothers. If you don't eat fast, you don't eat at all. They will steal your food. Like, literally, I'll be at, like, when we went to America, I was at a restaurant with my brother, the one who scared me in the hallway. And what he does at a restaurant, he sits there, grabs his fork, stabs into my plate as much as he can, puts it on his plate. Whatever he gets, he gets to keep sometimes. And I don't fight it because I'm like, look, I'm not going to finish my dinner anyway. So I'm like, but I would like to not finish and then give it to him. But he just like randomly stabs his fork into my food and steals half of it. And I'm like, I suppose that's fine. I can't do anything about it. <laughs> but yeah, Li three little brothers. You, you need need to eat fast. Uh, eat slow. <laughs> Brendan Fraser is awesome. Oh, 100%. We love that guy here. I, I heard he's making a comeback movie and I am here for it. He was my favourite actor as a child. Pretty much solely because of The Mummy. <laughs> but I'm sure there were more reasons other than just that. Um... The historic accuracy of Monty Python is 103% plus tax. Mm. You know what is a, like a decent movie, but the historical accuracy is disgusting, and even this racks me off a little bit, is A Knight's Tale with Heath Ledger. Everything is perfect, everything is fine, everything is beautiful, Mwah. except for the like princessy girl. What is she wearing? She is, like, the costume department did a great job with literally everyone else, except for that one chick who they were like, hmm, let's put her in, like, 90s clothes. Uh huh? Why is her hair spiky? Why? What? What? It racks me off just a little bit, okay? <laughs> Anaxuna Moon. Yes, Action Time's roommate! Uh, hi, I'm new here. Well, <laughs> yes. Hayden, I've never seen you before, ever. Um, yeah, I'm glad to see some love for the mummy. Uh, the, the Scorpion King version of the mummy? Horrific. <laughs> but still a grand movie because it was part of the mummy franchise. But I will say the first mummy movie was my one true love, and that is the one that I've watched over and over again. I did watch the second mummy a lot, but first mummy, 10 out of 10. But I... <sighs> Now this is gonna make me a fake fan, guys, even though I've watched the first one like a hundred times. <sighs> yes, screw scarabs, they're disgusting. Uh, the mummy, I loved the mummy when I was a kid. That's why I studied history, and that's why I'm poor. <laughs> um, so, I've never actually seen the third mummy movie, so I know that there's the original mummy, the one where they have the little kid, which is the Scorpion King, and then the one where their kid is grown up. I never watched the third one because we didn't have it on DVD. This was back in the day before Netflix. <laughs> so if you didn't have it on DVD, you didn't have it at all. So I've never seen the third one because I didn't have it on DVD. And I didn't even know if it's on Netflix. I'll have to look maybe and see if The Mummy's on Netflix, but I don't know. <laughs> Streamer reacts to bad historical accuracy on stream and absolutely loses it. Gone wrong. Ah, you know what? You could use the gone sexual <laughs> as well, since I did kiss chair. <laughs> I, I get all the clickbait here. This is incredible. <laughs> e. Uh, how are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? 
keep going. If you like history, be an archaeologist. Okay, so I did a history degree. I actually got an offer into both ancient history and archaeology, but I chose ancient history and not the archaeology degree because, like, it's hard to, and you don't, you have to, well, not hard, hard. Six. Um, it's difficult to, like, always having to be in other countries, and I'm like, you don't really have a home. So I did ancient history, and then I realised, I realised that all it is is writing essays. The mummy lies to you, okay? The mummy lied. It is not all fun and games and chasing mummies. No. <laughs> in fact, it is just writing essays. And then I was, because, like, my goal, I decided what I wanted to be when I was 12 years old. My goal was to go to uni, get my master's, get my PhD, become a lecturer of ancient history, do documentaries and stuff. But I... didn't want to do MRES because that's just more essays. It's essays after essays after essays and I'm just sick of it. Like, in my last semester of doing my history degree, I had 14 essays to write in four weeks. And it was misery. And I didn't want to do that again. So, I don't know, I took a bit of a sidestep. We'll see. <laughs> I don't even know where I started on that conversation or if I was answer answering something, but hopefully I see. <laughs> We did see the sock draw. Yeah. Socks out. What's in my top drawer? Not clickbait plus mommy rant. PhD, so Dr. Matisse. Yeah. I almost spilled my last name there because it was. <laughs> but I was like, yeah, Dr. <laughs> I know my family would be mad if I did that. Um. Money is the key to end all your woes, ups and downs. Well, I have none of it, so hmm, good on that. So you get to travel. I oh yes, look, traveling is incredible, and I want to do that in life. But basically, I'm like, well, <laughs> I'm probably going to be poor forever. I chose a dead end career path. <laughs> well, I welcome Munich. The wood? Lovely. Essays suck, essays do suck. Mm -hmm. My last name is. Uah! Hi again, uh, Dream X Liz. <laughs> <Slugs? laughs> Welcome back. You're too perfect to be poor. <laughs> no, it's just uni student things. Uni student things where you're like. <laughs> ah! Where well, it's hard because you can't have like a good job like I had my well I do have it's not had it's a have I have my own business but I could only work weekends and then uni came along and was like well for masters you're gonna have six hour Saturday classes so you can't work so I can only work on Sundays so I do uni work throughout the week have a Saturday class and then if I work on Sunday I'm screwed and I have nothing ha 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 Dance break. Hmm. That's an issue. How am I going to play music? <laughs> okay. Um, I do not have silent dance. Mime it up. Hold up. Maybe I can, like, I have... I have speakers down here, but I haven't plugged them in or set them up. <laughs> and I'm using my phone to stream right now. I can play it really loud through... <gasps> Wait, if I play it really loud through my headset and just st stick my headset on my phone, <laughs> it's gonna be grand. Um... As someone starting out with not a lot of money, I'm just starting out on my own ventures. Just do your best to network where you find yourself. Most helpful thing I've had on my trips is free accommodation for people I've just bumped into who had a convo with my past. Wow! Somewhere safe to sleep is half the issue with going places. Very true. But I would never trust someone I just bumped into to stay with because they'd probably kidnap me. 
Dance with your mind, we read your thoughts. Okay. Um. Okay, I apologize for this. Let me lift this up. All right. Um. How? Someone picked this up. Do you like to dance? I don't, I don't know. Uh. There lived a certain man in Russia long ago. He was big and strong in his eyes a flaming glow. Those people looked at him with... Uh, I'm trying to think of the Just Dance also. <laughs> with terror and with fear. But to Moscow chicks he was such a lovely dear. He could preach the Bible like a preacher. Full of ecstasy and fire. But he also was the kind of preacher women would desire. Uh, ra ra Rasputin, lover of the Russian queen. <laughs> there was a cat that really was gone. <laughs> ra ra Rasputin, Russia's greatest love machine. <laughs> it was a shame how he carried on. And then there's a whole bit of doing that like, hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> but that hurts my knees. Um, she actually knows the lyrics. Yeah, I don't know. What's the second verse? I don't know the second verse though. Rasputin lyrics. Uh, show more. <laughs> he ruled the Russian land and never mind the Tsar, but the Kazakh. <laughs> he danced was really wonderful. <laughs> In all affairs of state, he was the man to please, but he was real great when he had a girl to squeeze <laughs> for the queen. He was no wheeler dealer, though she'd heard the things he'd done. Ha! <laughs> she believed he was a holy healer who would heal her son. Ra ra Rasputin, lover of the Russian queen. <laughs> there was a cat that really was gone. Ra ra Rasputin, Russia's greatest love machine. It was a shame how he carried on. But when he was drinking and lusting and his hunger for power became known to more and more people, the demands to do something about this outrageous man became louder and louder. Hey, 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 hey. And the man's just got to go, declared his enemies, but the ladies begged, don't you? <laughs> Don't you try to do it, please. No doubt this Rasputin had lots of hidden charms. Though he was a brute, they just fell into his arms. Then, one night, some men of higher standing set a trap they're not to blame. Come to visit us, they kept demanding, and he really came. Atomic Hourglass, thank you so much for following. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. Ra ra Rasputin, lover of the Russian queen. They put some poison into his wine. Ra ra Rasputin, Russia's greatest love machine. He drank it all and said, I feel fine. <sighs> ra ra Rasputin, lover of the Russian queen. They didn't quit, they wanted his head. Ra ra Rasputin, lo Russia's greatest love machine. And so they shot him till he was dead. Oh, those Russians. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I hope, hope uh, you enjoyed that. <laughs> uh, it was 100% worth 2,000 points. I'm glad. I am so glad. <laughs> Audie Jeff, thank you so much for another 100 bits. You are way too kind. Oh my goodness, thank you. That made me feel very unfit though. <laughs> and thank you for following uh, Bob Do what, Bo? <laughs> Bob Dowbo. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day. And. Oh. ZFA, welcome as well. I hope you're also having an absolutely wonderful day. <sighs> What is with this bit? It's a, there's a, like a speaking part in the middle. That was worth the bit so we should redeem dance more often. 
Yeah, well. Rasputin 10 hour version. <laughs> Just edit that into 10 hours. And then they can use it in, like, you know, prisoner of war camps to torture people. It's gonna be great. Did you move your tall boy? No, I, this is in the exact same space. I'm just streaming on my phone because my PC is not working. It's, it's where it usually is. Um, I <laughs> see so you like to dance. Uh, can you say, ara ara? Is that like the dog? Ara ara? I hope that's correct. Exactly what I'm supposed to be saying. Is there a different way that people say this? I didn't need to go on the board. It's okay. Oh, it's fine. You're already on the board twice. I'm putting everyone on there that donates a hundred bits or more. Uh, so, as well as uh, Space Par and <laughs> Rabe Caps um, and Tektronic, who like donated $42. $24 and uh, $15, but 20 Australian dollars. Uh, <laughs> nice doggy. <laughs> yes, you do your stream MVP. That's true. You are number three on my list of bits. <laughs> I'm like, what is the word again? <laughs> You're number three on my uh, bit list. version <laughs> which one's the correct version this one this one you know one of those could be the correct version <laughs> trust me all right let me see this all right I'm gonna go now, it's pretty late, um, and I should probably go to bed, but thank you all so much for stopping by, make sure to follow if you haven't, uh, a massive thank you to all of these people, let me, let me bring them over, massive thanks to all of these people, as well as these people, which you guys are absolutely incredible, um, we're going on a trip in our favourite rocket ship to another chat looking so fat alright you guys are so incredible and uh, thanks to all the new people who are here I hope to see you all like next time it'll be so amazing to have you guys here uh, yeah I don't know I just thank you guys so much again you guys are incredible and uh, you guys are just the best and it has been an amazing stream thank you guys so so much uh, Leave Erickson, <laughs> thank you so much for following as well. Welcome to the stream. Sorry I'm ending, but uh, if you haven't yet, join my Discord so that you're fully notified next time I stream. I will see you guys, like, this time, but a couple of hours earlier on Friday. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> and, oh, I'm not on my laptop this time. I actually have to... Not PC. Actually, I have to close it like this.